let's try to understand what is a need for the interface. Now for that, let's take an example here. So let's say we have a class here. And uh, so the example which I'm trying to take here is for the developers. Let's say when you join a company, of course, as a developer, when you join a company, you want to write code, right? You want to build application. And if you have seen the trend, whenever you join a company, most of the company will give you a laptop to work on. And luckily, if you get a MacBook, that's great. Uh, so they give you a laptop, right? So that's, that's the thing, right? If you want to work in a company, let's say if you go to an office and if you want to work there, you will say, hey, I want a laptop. So in this case, let's say you are a developer, okay? So I will say you are a dev, right? Of course, you're a human, but let's say you're a developer. And then as a developer, what you do, you make applications, right? Or maybe I can say you write code. I will say dev app. You, you develop applications, right? Now, when you say you are developing an application, of course, you will say coding, okay? You're building an application here. Of course, uh, as a company, if I want to build a product, I have to hire developers. Now in this case, let's say if I hire a developer, let's say developer name is Naveen, and then if you say new developer, and with this object Naveen, I can say app, right? So I want Naveen to develop application. And if I compile this code, and if I run, it perfectly works, right? Now let's say, if I say, hey, you know, I will make an application, but I need a laptop first. I cannot work without laptop, but we don't have laptop, right? So what I will do is I will create a laptop class. I will say class laptop. And in this class laptop, of course, in a laptop, what you do is you write code and I can say coding, right? In fact, what laptop, when you say code, you, it basically you code, then you compile, then you run. So you do all those stuff, right? So I'm saying code, compile and run. And now, as a developer, what I want is if I, if you ask me to write a code, what I will do is I will just say, hey, give me a laptop. So basically you have to accept a laptop object here. That's right, you can also pass the object. So this developer will say, give me a laptop and then I will write code. So here, instead of saying this, you can simply say lap.code, right? Now, since you have a laptop object, you can basically call this method called code and it will work. So what I'm doing is I got two classes here, which one is developer and second is laptop. And inside laptop class, I have a method which is code. And then once I pass this object, I can simply code, right? Now, the only thing is when you ask a developer to write a code, developer will say, hey, give me a laptop. So that means first you have to create an object of laptop. So it was a laptop, lap is equal to new laptop. So we got a laptop object. Of course, every developer needs a different, different laptop object. So let's say if you hire five developers, you need five laptops to give them. Okay, I will say lap here. Now this should work, there's no problem. If you can see the code, everything should look good. Uh, if I run, you can see it, it still works. So basically we are saying code compile run. So what you're doing is from the main method, you're calling dev app, which is here, and then you're passing the laptop object. Okay, so you're passing this object here. And when you accept this object, you're calling the code method. So it will call this code method and you will execute this part. Everything works well, right? Now the only thing is, do you really need a laptop? See, in some companies, they give you a desktop, right? So if you go to the office, you they will have a desktop where you have a monitor, you have a desktop, a good desktop, which works. So why, as a developer, you are asking for a laptop? What if company wants to give you a desktop? You can't say, hey, I, I cannot work without laptop, right? You should be able to work on any computer. So let's say you also get an option of desktop there. In fact, in desktop as well, I can do the same thing, but I will say, faster, right? Desktops are always faster than a laptop, right? So we, you can see when you're coding, uh, it says code, compile, run faster because it works fast. Now, what if a company says, hey, you know, I, we don't have laptops with us, but what we have is we have desktop. I will say desk is equal to new desktop and they don't want to pass the laptop object. So they, when the company says, hey, Naveen, you have to work, you have to make an application. And what we are giving you is not laptop. We are giving you a desktop. Now, Naveen will say, I can't work. You can see Naveen says, I can't develop application because my application only needs laptop. You can't do that. So writing laptop here is an issue. We can't do that, right? So how do we solve this problem? And that's what, you know, when, when, when I was talking about abstract class and interface, I told you about the design thing, right? So when you make an application, you have to make it more flexible. Here, we are, what you're doing is you're doing a tight coupling here, which is 
You are saying that developer is dependent on a laptop. No, developer is not dependent on a laptop. Developer is dependent on a computer. A computer can be anything. A computer can be a laptop. A computer can be a desktop. So if you want to improve this example, what you can do is you can create a class called computer. Okay. And in this computer class, you can say public void code. And basically, you know, I want to keep this empty because I don't want to write a code because we don't, computer does not exist, right? It's just a concept. And I can say a laptop is actually a computer. So when you do that, the advantage is, in fact, desktop is also a computer. So when you do that, what happens is, now both this laptop and desktop, they are computer. So when I'm creating a reference of it, so can I say computer lap is equal to new laptop and computer desk is equal to new, new desktop? We can do that, right? We can create a reference of a parent class an object of a subclass and that's what we are doing here. Same thing can be applicable here, right? As a developer, you are focused more on the computer, not on laptop or desktop. The moment you do that, you can say everything is working. There's no problem here. It's because what you are passing here is desk, desk right? Which is desktop basically. But that is referred as a computer and what you are referring here is a computer. There's no mismatch here. You're passing a computer reference, you are accepting a computer reference. But when you call code, it will be called based on what object you are passing. So basically we are passing desktop object. So when you say code, it will call the code of the desktop, not of the laptop. Let me show you. So if I compile this code and run, you can see it says faster, that's desktop. But now if I pass a laptop, let's say computer uh, company decided to send you a laptop. And now when you compile and run, you can see it says code, compile and run. There's no faster here. That means that's laptop code. So that's how you design the application, right? To make it loosely coupled, where your developer object is not dependent on a laptop or desktop, or it is dependent on a computer. Any computer will do. A mobile phone also do, because that's a computer. Now there's one change. See, if, it, if you look at this code, we're doing nothing, right? So instead of defining it here, can I simply declare this? And we know when you're declaring it, we can make it abstract. And since your method is abstract, you can also make your class abstract and problem solved. And that's the importance of abstract class, right? You can create that abstraction layer where you say, we are not working with laptop and desktop. In real world as well, we do that, right? Uh, Sometimes we don't mention rose or lilies or sunflower. We simply say flowers, right? Uh, we don't say apartment or uh, a villa or anything. We say house, right? So we just try to generalize things in real life, in, real, in virtual world as well it's good to generalize things instead of specializing things. There's one more. Don't you think we can also use interface here instead of using abstract class? So we are using interface. We don't need public abstract. The only change you have to make is instead of using app uh, extends, we have to say implements. And that's the beauty of interfaces, right? Uh, I know uh, we have written a lot of code. Maybe you have to watch this video once again to understand and try it by yourself. That's when you, you will understand the power of the interfaces. And what you are creating here is not the classes reference, we are creating interface reference. Yeah, and that's the importance of the interface.